I always thought that 2022 was a pretty okay year for Tower Heroes, but but this year might be the worst. Now, let, let me be honest, we've had some pretty good things come out this year in Tower Heroes. Rotaday was neat, Destiny's Dawn was a pretty good map, uh, We Forgive You East, and the Make a Cake collab was pretty good. So, what makes this year bad? Replayability, that's right. Now, when a Tower Heroes update comes out, you you usually expect like around 30 through like 20k through 30k for like maybe like what one three days. Now that that's like what it used to be, right? And I, I'm not trying to defend the game's popularity uh, anymore, but it's kind of dead right now. Yeah, it's a uh, averaging like 1k, usually less. Yeah, it's not looking too good for uh, for Tower Heroes right now. And I'd say the biggest reason for this is replayability. Now, you might say, oh, Duck Adam, it's a tower defense game. Of course, the replayability sucks. Which, yes, that makes a lot of sense. Replayability in tower defense games is non-existent. Anyway, uh, here's a couple things that I think could add to Tower Heroes and maybe be like a good fucking idea. And, uh, you know, maybe keep the game alive for less than two days. Alright, first thing, something I've been saying for years uh, a battle pass. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, not, 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 not like that kind of battle pass. A free battle pass. Not necessarily a free battle pass, but more of like what they got going and fall guys over there. Now, th this, this is something to like, maybe pro, fucking PvP or some sort of battle mode. Battle mode is dead. They added the battle mimic to try to revive it. You just made everyone hate it even more. The replayability. It's pretty mid, right? So, here's what they could do, alright? Make a crown pass, just some shitty rewards. Maybe get out fucking player titles or some dumb shit, just for like filler rewards. Maybe out of, you gotta add a few skins in there so people want to do it. But uh, even then, you'd probably only have to add like what maybe one, three like new skins a year. Maybe just a bunch of other filler junk. And I think, I, I think that'd be good, right? Because at least, at least it's something to keep you playing, right? Um, something else I think could help is better updates, right? Tower Heroes updates take so long, and they usually have a lot of stuff on, like, the back burners, too. Volcano Valley took two years! Two years! Only thing that took so fucking long was skins. Skins, yeah! And honestly, it's just fucking annoying. No, I'm gonna be honest, when, it, when they take, like, maybe, like, two, three months for, like, a pretty small update that's okay but uh content creators like me uh we're starving we're dying over here okay we have to go through the bottom of the barrel to make this shit i'm making this video right now because we haven't had a good update or content since like fucking april we've had nothing how i think they could like make better updates is not sure maybe keep like the regular wait time and of course like uh, like two maps and like three to four months, you know, some fun stuff. Balance changers and fix the fucking game. One or two new heroes a game. That, that'd be great. Now, you could be like, oh, check out him. Pixel Bit is a really small team. I have an insane idea for you. It's called hiring people. Oh, shit. Okay, that, that was kind of annoying. Another thing they could do is, uh, th this is kind of in spite of Make a Cake, collab with relevant games. Now, Make a Cake collab, that game's been dead for years. They only have like 1,000 players. Wait a minute, that's like Tires. And honestly, you're collabing with a game that's also dead. The Doors collab kept this game thriving, all right? Now, those guys over at Regretivator, they, they're like, oh, well, yeah, I totally do a collab. So why not do that, huh? They're open, huh? You, they can, you can do it with them. You you do it. Pretty cool. I want money! Oh, so we're kind of on the topic, maybe on the topic. But something they could do is listen to the fucking community for once. These guys got pretty good ideas. They have balance changes that could possibly work. Maybe be good. Huh? 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 Everything about that. <laughs> oh, shit. They got a bunch of crazy-ass cool fan maps and shit. Look at that cool map right there. Yeah, that's fucking awesome. May add some fan heroes. Ooh, look at that thing. That's pretty cool. I'm editing this at 2 a.m. probably. Have fun, bitch. Now, other minor fixes they could do is, like, change the lobby and, like, get rid of that awful music with, like, everybody's been saying for years. This new lobby fucking sucks. You add the Adidas thing and don't even keep it. 
as soon as the Adidas shit's over, oh, it's gone. You could have just kept the outdoors for something at least a little fun, right? But what they should do is just bring back the old lobby, make a new lobby, maybe put the old lobby outside, like the outdoor lobby, and then the new lobby, and then the old lobby, like the... There's three levels of this lobby. All right, there's uh OG lobby, the outside one. Uh, the cool inside one. Yeah, and then the one they add in the sticker update. That fucking sucks. I hate it. Um, another thing they could do is stop with little chip. Please stop it. I hate little chip. He's getting annoying. He's on my nerves. I'm sick of him. Okay, I thought he was pretty funny the first time. This is what Squiggles was gonna be, by the way. They would have done all this shit with Squiggles, but Lil' Chip was funnier and cuter and more recognizable. And honestly, the Lil' Chip shit, it's getting an absurd. You make a plushie of him, a golden plushie of him, a pin of him, an entire fucking update of him. <laughs> it's fucking dumb. I hate him. He's annoying. And of course, let me do stuff. I think I should be allowed to do more fun, happy things for Dower Heroes. Just saying, just saying, if you need Hilo, if you're watching this and you need help on Halloween, please, please, I'm, I'm, I'm open, I'm available. Just saying, if you're doing contracts, can you can get me, I, I'll do some. I promise not to put Duck Adam in any of them, please, I swear, please, please, I'll settle for a sticker, that's all, I, I'll settle for it. The rest of the year is looking great for Tower Heroes, right? The Halloween and Christmas updates are always good, well, except that one time, and honestly... Yeah, I'm just looking forward to it. There's going to be a new Halloween map. I'm, like, almost certain of that. I'm, I know damn well they're going to be doing that. And it's going to be hard again. They always do hard Halloween maps. Christmas will probably also be hard. They always make events hard. So then people stay playing. Anyway. And they're they're going to be fun, okay? They're probably gonna, I think they're going to do Advent Calendar again this year. That would be sick. And, like... There's, there's a lot of things, like, promised before 2025 as well. So even if they're early 2025 or like just at 2025 at all, this year would be like great. It would like really redeem 2024 for Tower Heroes. But like these could still be major misses. The new crate could still be bad. A bunch of new shit could still be bad. They could still all end up being terrible. And I'm not happy about that one bit, all right? And, like, the next year is looking pretty bad for them. Most work goes into holiday events. And then after that, it's just jack shit. I understand that Pixelbit is a very small team, which is why I have the solution of HIRE PEOPLE THAT AREN'T FUCKING IMPWIC! Okay, that's the end of today's video. I wish you all a happy-go-lucky Sunday. Is this out on Sunday? I don't know, probably not out on Sunday. <laughs> Good night. Oh my god, my throat hurts.